Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to award players badges in Roblox Studio so that you can add different badges to your game, like for different player achievements, things like meeting the developers, meeting the owner, for a welcome badge for the first time a player joins a game, all that kind of stuff. They're great for player, player engagement and just encouraging players to play the game more and just increasing your player count and playtime. So the first thing you're going to need to do is insert a part because in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make it so that when a player touches a specific part they get the badge like a badge awarding pad I am just going to make this 4 by 4, 4 by 0. 0.5 by 4 or 10 by 0. 0.5 by 10 yeah make it pretty big I'm just going to color it how it looks does not make a difference to the script I'm just coloring it like this because I want to Next thing you're going to do is add a script inside of your part. And first thing you're going to do is type script dot parent dot touch colon connect function hit. So now you're going to say local player equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent now you're gonna say if player then you're gonna go back to the top we're gonna to set up our badge service so local badge service equals game colon get service badge service and then now we're going to write If not bad service colon user has badge async we're gonna say player dot user ID and then badge ID and then so one thing we forgot to do is go back up to the very top we're gonna add one more variable called badge ID and then you're just going to set it to the ID of your badge. We're going to go grab a welcome badge ID from one of my other games and paste it there. Next thing you're going to do is say badge service colon award badge player dot user ID badge ID. So this is pretty much saying we're going to get the badge surface and get the badge ID. Then we're going to say when the part is touched, if it's touched by a player and the player does not already have that badge, then we're going to award that badge to the player. So this should work. It may not work since the badge is not for the specific game. Make sure you create the badge under the game you want to award it in, not under a different game because that will cause you to run into issues. However, I think it should work right now since we're just in testing. Taking a minute to load here. My Roblox Studio is kind of slow whenever I'm recording, so sorry about that. Also, don't forget to join the Discord. The link will be in the description below this video. Recently, the Discord server was raided and 350 people were banned and the other 400 members were kicked from the server. So no one is in the server. We've gotten back up to like 70 members now, but I'd appreciate if you would all go check out the link in the description and join the Discord server because that is where I'm answering questions all day when they're talking. There are loads of developers in there for you to get help from or help each other. It's just a great server to join, so make sure you join that. So what's the issue here? No issue, so no error, but it's working. The only issue is that I already have the badge, so it's not going to award me the badge. But that's it for this tutorial. That should work for you. If you have any issues, let me know in the comments below or join the Discord server. You can DM me there, and I will help you with any issues you have. I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
I know you didn't see the little badge award pop up on screen, however that's because I already have the badge because I created the badge. So it's not going to give me the badge again, but hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.